Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing Enigmatic 6. And, uh, funny story, I was playing TNT Limitless 3, and I was recording, and something didn't work, and I switched to playing this pack, and I guess I just kept recording. Um, so that explains the first few seconds to the next clip. So since that didn't work out, I want to start working on a new structure. We need to build, we need to build a tower. Um, to build a tower, I want to make it out of this sun metal stuff. Um, so we're going to teach our uh, system how to make some metal blend. And we're going to teach it how to make bricks. Throw that right in there right now. And we're going to want to know the block. And the rest we can just make by hand. Okay, so we have an amount of these sun metal pillars. <laughs> yeah, these are gonna make a fine base for this. Okay, that's quite tall. So the next thing we want is to make some things going around it. And we'll make a bunch of these while we're at it. Now we're going to see if we can't do something like this. Better get out to our uh, <laughs> handy wrench. Okay. So we want to go like here, and then now and while that's going up that way, we're gonna want another one going around literally the exact opposite. Now, how do they meet in the middle? Is it like so? Oh, that break the slab that you're looking at mod is what we want is uh, <clears throat> a kind of a double helix thing. And you'll see what I mean. Yeah. It's a good start. Next thing we're going to do is make a recipe for elevators. Now these are cool. Um, we're just going to use a normal one, just an ender pearl, and some wool. And these will teleport you from one of them to another. I'll show you what I mean. Now it used to be the range on these things was 20 blocks. So let's assume we're going to need at least three of them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put one in the ground right here. And we're going to put another one all the way at the top. And just on the off chance that we can get away with two, we're gonna give it a try. Yeah! So, what you do, space bar to go up, shift to go down. Let's see if we can put some blocks in between. Okay, so we put a bunch of shroom lights up the middle there. No problem. Also, apparently, you can camouflage these by right clicking them with the block. So that's cool. 
And now we're just going to build this out a little bit. Okay, so we're on the top of the tower and it's night time. Now this luminous crafting table we got quite a few episodes ago. We're just going to put it down. Yeah, okay, so there's a good amount of starlight. That's cool. Um, but what we want to make is a telescope. That's the next quest, and that'll allow us to uh, figure out constellations and so on. Okay, so we need a looking glass, glass lens. Okay, we need four aquamarine and a glass pane. That shouldn't be too hard. Oh, we have some in our inventory already. And it seemed like it could be any glass pane, so let's try these. So the the bar there is starlight. That's the, the energy of the mod. Um, what are we going to do? Oh, we need the... Uh, we need the wand, don't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need this resonating wand. Um, here, there it is. We have everything we need to craft it. And I think maybe we just right click. Yeah, there we go. Cool. That'll give us our glass lens. And with our glass lens, we can make our looking glass. So we need wood, gold, and some planks. And sticks. I think I have some sticks. Uh, I don't see sticks. Alright, we got some sticks. We'll take a plank. And a gold. And now we should be able to make a telescope glass, whatever it is. Isn't that nice? Very cool. Let's, uh, let's get our quest rewards here. Rare Astral Source Reloot. Furball. And some fish. Well, that's fun. So the reward we got is rock crystal ore, and that's pretty exciting. That's stuff we need. <laughs> and I'm going to be just as happy. We'll do it with a fortune here. To not have to do it with that. Uh, oh! There's a cat up here. Meow. Hello, kitty. Oh. So these rock crystals are important. We're just going to throw them in the system for now. Oh, you're adorable. Look at you. Now, one of the other things we need to make are these light wells. Um, okay, so we need a little bit more chisel marble. Is that it? Get rid of that, I guess. Let's see. And that'll use one of these rock crystals. Um, this will make a light well, and as soon as it uh, becomes dark, and we can get some starlight, we'll go ahead and craft it. Alright, just about moonrise. Starting to get some power in there. Shouldn't be long. The higher up you are, the, the better off you are. We could still be quite a bit higher. But, I wanted to make a tower, and this is about as high as I felt like building. I kind of had to come out some more this way, I'm almost certain of it. Come on. Let's 
see the stars, yo. Let me try here. Uh, not enough power? Not enough power. There we go. Nice. Now we're gonna pop this down there. Let's have to push, and I guess we can just, uh, toss aquamarines in there. Toss more than one. One at a time. Now we get set up enough for that. But, uh, this will start to collect starlight. And that's what we're gonna need for the upgraded altar. Um, whoops. They call it here the uh, Starlight Crafting Altar. We need a bucket of liquid starlight. Alright, come along. Yep, there we go. And we'll go ahead and all together to our resonating wand. Might need a little more power there. Hmm. Well, we did complete some more quests anyway, so we got some uh, aquamarine shale and some stuff. And some stuff. Uh, that's oh, we got a block of star metal. That's cool. Hey, fat. That's for the aquamarine. We have a. Uh, So as tall as the tower is, it doesn't look like it was quite tall enough. <laughs> We're way up here, and we have access now to enough starlight to actually craft this thing. I think. Oh no, we still don't have quite enough. See, that blue line is uh, how much we need, and that's how much we have. Up some more. Okay, we're now quite high up. <laughs> See if we can do it yet. I don't know if we're gonna have to build the tower this high or if there's some. No, still not. <laughs> okay, the sun's starting to rise, so we're <clears throat> we're losing. We're up here at Y two hundred. Let's see. Uh, just how ridiculous this would be to try to build that thing up here. Pretty ridiculous. I don't think we're going to be doing that. So we'll have to see how this goes. We'll just have a giant nerd pool there for a while. Yeah, so we're still just short of what we need. I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, we found a good spot in the eastern mountains. Uh, looks like we'll finally be able to craft this. I wonder what we're going to do with that big tower. <laughs> oh, we don't have all this stuff. Alright, let's try that again. And we'll click it with our resonating wand real quick. And this thing may just transform? Yeah. Okay. So let's see if we can take it back home. Set it up there. Oh, we got a couple minutes. Okay, so we got this thing. I brought it back home. We're going to see if we can't craft a telescope.
see if that'll... Oh. Well, what's this? Okay, so this crafting altar is a multi-block. It has to sit up on top of some stuff. Um, so we're going to need eight chiseled marble. Um, sure we have enough. Let's see. There's the astral chiseled marble. Eight chiseled marble. We're going to need... 24 marble bricks and 28 marble arches. So let's see. Here's the 24 marble bricks. Well, you know, that's not what we want to do at all. <laughs> we want marble bricks from out of our system. Here is what we want. And where did it say? 24 of these. And then 28 of the arches. And 28 arches. And finally, 21 sooty marble. So let's see. Just regular sooty marble, right? There's 24. And that'll complete the quest. Now will this thing tell us how to make the altar? That noise you heard um, is one of those aquamarines being consumed all the way. So here's the luminous crafting table. Sure. Then the second section. Find out. There we go. Ritual acceleration, ritual pedestal, crystal lens, telescope. Hmm. Well, what if we put the altar right here, and then what is it telling us? Okay, I see where Sooty Marble is supposed to go, I think. Okay. So out like this. I'm sure this is in that book somewhere, but <laughs> I'm not familiar with this mod. I don't know where. Um, City Marvel under there, over here, and over here, over here. Fill out these corners. Yes. yes. Okay, and then it's bricks and pillars. Okay, I think we just about got it here. And this is cool, it, like if you put the wrong block down, well the stamps just kind of fall, that's a terrible example. But if you put the wrong block down, it, it lets you know. Alright, and finally, what does it want here? Pillars? It must want pillars of some kind. Doing a great job here. Um, let's see, marble pillar? Alright, is that... Yep, apparently. Uh, more marble pillars? I might have known. Okay, okay, 
okay. And now it wants the rest of the chiseled marble. And I guess that's it. We'll see how it does come nightfall. Okay, so we're up here, we built this whole thing. I had to sleep through a night because phantoms. Um, thing is slowly filling up. So let's see if we can make... We made this already, but now we want to make this, right? Right. And I assume we just uh, hit it again? Okay. Now this is like our looking glass, except we can mount it. <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier. Whoops. How do we uh, how do we navigate around? Maybe it'll tell us in the tone. More stable platform tuning. Additional stability. How do we move it? Can be accomplished using the arrows on the left and the right side of the viewing window, which... Uh, oh, there they are! Okay. So I think it's these big bright stars that we're looking for. And... What do we see? What you do is you just... Uh, Hold down your left mouse button. See if you can connect them all together. Does that look like anything? Let's connect them up here. I don't know. We got this well. Let's see what else we have. There any other big ones like that? Well, these look like big ones. Um, we have here. We've got like four down there. So maybe it's this one. No, because there's that one too. So maybe what we're trying to do. Is mm. like that looks like one. Wait a minute, I see, I see, I see. I think. Okay, we got it finally. <laughs> that is. This one, the Cydia. So, dispersing this light and the smallest board and energies creates a damaging field. Okay, interesting. I wonder how much this thing fills up to. It fills up to about that much, and it's it's losing it now because the sun's starting to peak up a little bit. Now we did complete some quests doing all that. We got some rare astral sorcery loot and we got some rare astral sorcery loot. Okay, so celestial altar, celestial gateway, attunement altar. I feel like what we're looking for crystal lenses. So what about star metal world? Other objects near the floating crystal. Ease the beam of light using light materials. Starlight transmutation. Let's see if it says anything in here. Uh, stardust, anyway. Celestial altar. We need star metal ingots. And for this, we need iron ore? And uh, one of those crystals. 
Diffusing iron with enough starlight. So, okay, so we have two things, right? We have this resonating wand and this linking tool. So I think what we need to do is get some iron ore. Or we could just get it as a quest reward. <laughs> we got some lenses too. Didn't we already get some star metal? Okay, so we, we've actually got uh, a reasonable amount of it. Let's see what our next quests are. Well, we have to get the ore. Um, so we need starlight transmutation. It looks like that has something to do with the lens. Can we make a lens yet? Find out. Uh, where are they? I mean, we use these, right? We can make them. What do they make? really don't know. Let's see, what is it called? Is it called a lens? Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we've brought some iron ore down here. Let's see. Daytime right now. So let's see what happens if we put some down. Not much. What about with the linking tool? Link crystal to okay, yeah. That's how that's done. Okay. Oh well, it's nighttime now, so so much for that aspect of the experiment. Cool. Now, when we break it, we get the ore, right? Right. There we go. Cool. Okay, so now that we got it, let's turn in the uh, quest for it. So we make a star metal cutting tool. Dropping crystals on the ground. Star metal and get some stardust. Okay. And we got some Sooty Marvel's reward. Get all this stuff out of the inventory here. So we can smelt it. Yeah, we just smelt it. Okay, so other thing we want to make here before we make our star metal cutting tool is some infused wood. And what we need for this is some of this starlight that we've been collecting. We just need a source block of it. And I think we might just take just locks, throw it in here. Apparently this doesn't use up the starlight. Yeah, infused wood. Okay. We're gonna run out of, uh, okay, gold nuggets. We just need some gold nuggets. I think. Oh, we're running out of, oh, we don't have any, okay, yeah. <laughs> How do we make the flags? Oh, just in the crafting table. Okay. Looks like we had enough juice for that. Alright, but we'll have to wait till the next night 
to make the, uh, the, what do you call it, the thing. Oh, we don't want that many. <laughs> There's no way of let us do it now, right? Yeah. We got no juice. So, another thing. I think we might be able to do it. I think this might use up the starlight. Is throwing rock crystals in there. Yeah, it's doing something, it looks like, doesn't it? That doesn't seem any better. Okay, night's fallen. It looks like we're finally in the neighborhood to uh, to get this star metal tool crafted. Very nice. Very cool. Now I also want to see. I mean, I, I don't know why we wouldn't be able to, but I want to. See if we can craft some illumination powder. It sure looks like it. Looks like you can use the upgraded altar if you don't need to build one around. And the other, what I want here is this cave illuminator. That should about do it, right? No, that's the uh, that's the wrong tool. There we go. And put the rest of this stuff away. So that's cool. I also want to make a pick. So this is a quest right here. Yeah. Probably not going to use it that much, but use it all. But now we have it. And were there any more thing? Okay, yeah, we we want nocturnal powder. So what's that? Uh, this is gonna be blue dye, coal, black dye. Okay, so we're gonna get some blue dye. We're gonna want black dye. See if we can make some here. I want to use my wither roses. <laughs> we have squid ink. We have one. Okay, so let's just get that coal real quick. We'll just make the one. That'll solve another quest for us. Or perhaps not. Oh, we need two coal. And I put the illumination powder away because I thought it would not use that. Um, and you know, I, I, I think it just used these in crafting recipes. What's that black dye? I'm trying to hurry so I don't <laughs> I don't lose the uh, the starlight. That's fine. Now, what I want are more of these lenses. And we'll... Okay, because we're going to want to make some of these crystal lenses. And let's go ahead and get the rune marble out. I feel like we could use some more of that. Alright, hopefully that'll do the trick. 
Oh, we need the engraved infused wood. That's right. Which is just the planks um, and the diamond pattern like that. Alright, let's see if we can make these now. Oh, we need gold and we need more aquamarine. Okay. Uh, gold. And we have aquamarine to beat the map. Right, right. We can only make these one at a time, I think, because the, uh, they don't stack and the crystals don't stack. Something like that. Oh, that took some juice. Got it, though. Alright. Interestingly, it doesn't seem to consume the starlight. It's just about how much is available. So that's nice. Yeah, these don't stack. But that's okay. Oh, I see. It's, they have the stats. I make some more. Okay, so that was interesting. We got three from one of the operations. Two stacked because they have the same stats. And we got this one. So what I want to do is put them up top of these things here. And I think we use the linking tool. Yeah, OK. I feel like that's not going correctly. Um, if you throw it down, okay. Select the crystal lens, link crystal, okay, now it's pointing at it. I'm sure there's a simpler way to cancel that this works. So what I think will happen now is those will all direct additional starlight at the altar, if, if I understand that correctly. Let's uh, take a look. Improving starlight altar light availability. Yeah, okay. Lenses are the solution. Highest quality standards. The housing, attaching the orientation. Well, all right. I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll see if it works. Now, I'm very excited about this cave illuminator. It does exactly what you'd imagine in a fairly wide radius underneath it. So this, this torch has been <laughs> very expensive for not very much. The radius really wasn't that big. Um, at least when we made it. Maybe the settings have changed since then. But we're just going to pop this down. I think it has to be... Uh, I think it has to be exposed to the sky, and I'm not sure this qualifies. I think there's a, there's roof above that, so we'll put it up here. And this will, you know, slowly but surely, in a fairly wide radius, illuminate all the caves down here. So, uh, hey, a wandering trader happened by. Come here, you. There we go. I'm going to get one of these Murado saplings from him. And we'll also take one of these restoration tomes from Dark Utilities. This does, you know, you combine it with a tool at the smithing table. And if the tool's getting too expensive to repair, that'll, uh, that'll deal with that. Is there anything else he has that I want? Not really. So this pickaxe is no joke. It's 32,000 durability. Um, that's really something. Now, I don't know if we can enchant it. 
So let's see. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Yeah. Let's first of all see just what we can get regular here. Well, we could get Silk Touch on that thing if we had 60 levels, so maybe I'll go get some levels. So I got a bunch of levels and then I changed my mind about what I want to do. I'm going to put Mending on it first. Um, so that we have that. And we're going to do the rest of it on our Soul Enchanter, I hope. Yeah, Efficiency. Fortune. 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 Efficiency, efficiency. I'll take on breaking. And efficiency. Okay, let's try something on the bus. Let's look quick draw. Let me look. Looks like we have to choose one of these. Um, I don't like a lot of the options it's given us. Okay, I like efficiency 5. I don't want scorching heat. That'll just, uh, that'll auto smelt, and that's not very efficient. Okay, that's a pretty good pick. And that's about all the time we have, so, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.